Hello and welcome to Street Place on Linux. Today I will be playing a bit of uh, Hearthstone. It's not a native Linux client. It's running through Wine, but as you can see, it is actually running quite good. <coughs> it doesn't have a lot of options yet, but uh, it's getting there. Now I have played a bit of Hearthstone uh, so far. I've tried some different stuff out. Today I will be trying out one or two uh, plays, depending on how it goes and how long it is. Gonna start with my uh, rogue deck, which is kind of a sneaky sneaky stuff. I haven't really done much to it. So let's go! See if we can find something. <coughs> Excuse me. I have been playing a lot of Hearthstone, but I'm still waiting for them to release a Linux, Linux client for any of their games, really. But they run great in Wine, so I can't really see a reason why they would do it. Let's see here. I get an extra card. That's great. Uh, Phantom Knife is good. Assassin's Blade. Let's change out Assassin's Blade. Yeah, great. Vanish. Vanish is actually a great card because it's not my minions it returns, it's all minions. So I can use it if the opponent has a lot of minions out, and I don't. The coin is actually a great idea. It's just one more benefit of not going first. I actually like going second because. I got a lot more options and I got a lot more cards. So yeah, I got Sinister Strike, which I can use, but I could also uh, do this and then do this. And next time I would be able to get out my big taunt here because of 4 mana. I only have 3 mana, but when I use the coin, I get 4. So he plays the 3 3 taunt. Taunt is a great ability, really, that you don't see much anyway. It, uh, hmm, how should I put it? It sees the, uh, does that your opponents are forced to attack that minion or any other minion with taunt, but spells don't apply to that. So you can still cast a spell on any other. Yeah, fine. They killed each other. That's actually pretty good. I don't mind that. Actually, I really don't mind that. Because now I can just play... I don't want to play this yet, because I don't have any other minions. So let's just deal some damage to the enemy hero. And get done with it. There. Now my weapon is destroyed. So I'm still using my two leftover mana to get me a new weapon because the durability only counts down when I actually use the weapon. So if it's not used, then it doesn't matter. Four forward taunt. Now that is actually pretty neat. Mm, I could take it out, uh, but it will give me two damage. I don't want that. So yeah, I might just need to do that, depending on why or on what I get here. Deadly poison. That's nice. That's actually pretty nice. Because that lasts for the duration of my weapon. Yeah, so let's just kill it, be done with it. He actually has a great lead this time. As I said, this deck is not really uh, up to speed. I haven't done a lot of changes to it. 
Damn it, he is persistent. Really persistent. Now, take a notice that I haven't really gotten a lot of minions yet. Which is kind of a flaw in this deck. Sad as it is. Yeah, I don't have a lot of minions and I especially don't have a lot of taunt minions. Which I need to get done. And you place that again. Charge. Yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. Which is probably not a good idea. But I am. I don't really have a m any minions. So I'm bored. Only thing I actually need here is a way to communicate with my opponent. Only way I can communicate with my opponent is if I have my opponents on my friend list. That is the only way I can communicate with my opponent. And then of course the standard here, but I can't use the standards. You know, I I can't use the standards for what I would like to say. Yeah. Yeah. He got me. But I'm not surprised really. You know. I'm not really surprised. This has happened to me a lot. So especially with my rogue deck. Yeah, my Murloc deck is actually pretty, uh, pretty awesome, really, uh, because it it's based on Murlocs, and the Shaman increases Murloc's potential via totems. Plus, I have a lot of plus things in there, giving plus to attack and plus to health and and such as that. So it gives them a really, really strong point. Yeah, and Bloodlust is awesome for a Murloc deck. Really, really awesome. Now I go first. Which means I can say uh, that Rockbiter is free. It's a free damage in turn one. So, yeah. Let's just go and do that. That's a free three damage, basically, in turn one. This is awesome. Now the shaman power here, summon a random totem. Random totem is really random. There are like four or five kinds of totems, but they are random. Let's see what we get. We get a healing totem. The healing totem is at the end of each turn it restores plus it restores one health to my damaged minions. To all my damaged minions. Doesn't include me, but it is great for minions. It's not really that great for, you know, uh, the other one. Spell power ones. I don't use spell power totems that often. I can see he has Murlocs too, so this one would benefit his Murlocs as well as mine. That's why I'm not playing it. Give all his Murlocs plus one extra attack. For each other friendly minion on the battlefield. That is actually quite awesome. Now let's do this. Then the others get plus two attack. Yeah, so let's just kill that one and kill that one and then summon another totem now these totems will get healed because they're only taking one damage so they get healed up <coughs> we 
which is really really nice the only thing I really miss in this deck is uh, some AoE I don't really have any AoE in this deck he took out my healing totem which is fair enough and then he gets me 3 damage fine plus one to all my minions plus one for all my minions yeah plus one for all minions on the battlefield there now I have a 7-7 seven seven. there we go now I can rearrange my minions which is kind of uh, annoying because I would like to have another minion on the other side of that one but I can still place them when I play them to say on the other side of that one because that will get plus two then which would be awesome Did one damage draw a card Woo, it gets pluses plus nine now So yeah, that is awesome. Now that and then giving that one Wind Fury would really deal out a lot of damage. It would really deal out a lot of damage. Plus it's a 4-4. Four, four. No, 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. So now let's deal out some damage. Yeah. Let's deal out some damage. Let's see playing this here, giving that one wind fury yeah Let's see what totem we get fire totem, fair enough nine and nine there we go now he needs to get this out he needs to destroy that one he needs to destroy that one because that will kill him. Next time I will play Bloodlust and really get it over with. One damage to all minions. Fair enough. Kills two. Yes. And a taunt. Fine. He plays a taunt. Gives me a bit of damage, yes. And my turn. Well, I have a lot of options now, actually. I, re I actually have a lot of options. Uh, I actually have a lot of options here. I do have a lot of options. I need to take out the taunt. I'm gonna do that with this one. and a taunt, yeah there we go and then we kill him with this one so you see this deck really works very very well hey fire elemental you have 3 damage battle cry that's actually quite nice I want some gold which is also awesome yeah so I have 200 gold now now these are the decks I have made myself uh, this was my starting deck which is my uh, mage deck now let's see what I have here the uh, deck edit mode this is a list of all my cards Yeah. this here is my mage deck my mage deck is awesome it really is awesome it it is freezing goes on uh, freezing stuff and with it getting a lot of spell power so I can do a lot of damage with fireballs and with the frost balls and the arcane explosions and all that my mate has incredible AoE damage which is also nice that's it shaman power is a test of what I can do uh, with shaman-ish spells you know bloodlust and healers and orc warlords and 
stuff like that. Uh, some big dudes and uh, some small dudes. Priest deck is one I had great success with uh, the first day I made it, but after that it just went downhill really. Uh, it goes to uh, I need to heal, I need to keep myself alive, I need to draw cards, and then I need to get damage in on the opponent with these uh, shadow spells and some uh, minions here, you know, warlords again, lore of the arena to get some damage in on the opponent. With a, I got a few taunts in there too, but not really necessary as I'm a healer. Sneaky sneaky you've seen, show business was because I got the uh, I got the uh, Cho, the Law Walker Cho, which this is a deck I made for pure fun, just to see how fuck up this would get when I play this card and everyone gets the same spells. The first uh, time I played it, it was just, he just destroyed it. I didn't have any time to heal him or do anything other than that. Murloc Madness, you've just seen, so <coughs> that was it. So that was it for me today. I will be back uh, next time with uh, another video, probably not Hearthstone related, uh, probably uh, something else. But uh, see you then. Bye.